Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padawan, we're back again to our latest weather analysis and this is for today, Wednesday until Friday, July 10th, 12th, 2024. This is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation, one of the best institutions here in the Bicol region and Naga City. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakini Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. So let's begin with our update. Here's the latest GovSat that we created uh, this morning to the afternoon. And uh, we have a developing monsoon trough. So it means that winds on the southern side of this line is blowing from the southwest. It will begin blowing from the southwest. And up to the north, it will be from the east and northeast. So that's the definition, the true definition of what a monsoon trough. So it's just a converging uh, uh, winds, which creates uh, thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon or evening. And it's now slowly organizing. And we have here a uh, low pressure system, a weak one or a shallow one, which developed to the south of Yap. And we are keeping an eye on this system since uh, most of the computer models are developing this into an active one, while some into a weak tropical depression crossing the Visayas. Okay, so that will be between Tuesday and Wednesday next week. So we are going to focus on this system and it could become letter B. Okay, it's likely uh, to be named Bochoy based on the uh, domestic names of Pagasa. So uh, this will be the first system that will start to enhance the southwest monsoon. Although here on the western side of this trough, there might be a new LPA that will form. Based on the American model, it could become a large monsoon depression with a low-level center moving towards Hainan or Vietnam. But the uh, European model, most likely it could become a tropical depression hitting Vietnam this weekend. So this system might be the first one that will enhance the uh, southwest monsoon. Actually, it's starting to blow, affecting the Kalayan Island group and the western uh, sections of uh, the coastal areas of the Palawan within the next uh, few days. Okay, so we have here the term developing since it's starting to uh, uh, Develop for the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. So watch out for daily thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon and evening. And uh, just this afternoon, we have uh, a heavy thunderstorm here in Naga City. Actually, it's around 5 to 6 p.m., but it's no longer here. And uh, also in other portions of the archipelago. So uh, again, we are going to focus our attention on this weak uh, LPA that could become an active one through the weekend. Okay, so please take all the precautions. Those living over Visayas, Northeastern Mindanao, and Bicol region, uh, we are going to uh, watch this system through the weekend. And uh, elsewhere, the rest of the country will remain uh, uh, cloudy, mostly cloudy with afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly central and southern Philippines, but here over northern Luzon, there might be still some uh, isolated rain showers and thunderstorms uh, as well. Okay, and for the fast animation, there you go. We have here the uh, monsoon trough being organized, uh, starting to organize, and it's uh, from this uh, point up to this uh, developing shallow LPA right here. So uh, if we take a look at the zoom in subtle animation, this is uh, beginning around 3.40 p.m. up to 9 o'clock this evening. You can clearly see here some pulsating cloudiness generated by these localized thunderstorms due to the uh, monsoon trough and some uh, local convection in uh, central Luzon as well. Okay, so this is now the system that we are uh, going to observe when the next uh, couple of days 
through the weekend so let's hope it won't become a very powerful system but based on the uh, european model it is likely to become an active one causing visayas through mindoro by uh, tuesday or wednesday so that will be the forecast although the uncertainty remains high low probability since it's still more than five days and we are going to show to you in a while the uh, track of the various computer models from windy.com but first here's the grain forecast from uh, european model so by tomorrow afternoon we expect uh, uh, thunderstorms to occur over palawan uh, visayas and uh, uh, mindanao as well as the Ilocos region, western sections of central Luzon, over the Bicol region and uh, southern Tagalog provinces, we expect thunderstorms. Uh, likely it won't occur, okay? But still, these are forecast. But uh, wait, uh huh. So there might be in the in the evening, tomorrow evening, okay? So on Friday. There might be another round of thunderstorms as the afternoon progresses, Friday afternoon, in various sections of the country, becoming more frequent over western Palawan and Sambuanga Peninsula, as you can see it here. And on Saturday, again, in the afternoon through the evening, we expect another round of thunderstorms across most parts of the country. Uh, like I said, we are now on the middle of the wet or rainy season. And the uh, the structure of the monsoon trough has be already begun, as you can see it here. So this is towards this uh, low pressure uh, system to the east of uh, northern uh, Mindanao. So that will be on Sunday. So we are going to keep an eye on the system. And uh, the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days. Uh, take a look at this. So this is the... Uh, monsoon induced rainfall which is more than 100 millimeters for the next three days over the west philippine sea because of the forecasted uh, lpa that will form to the west of luzon and here is for the other one the weak shallow uh, lpa that is expected to uh, move towards the southern parts of the philippine sea sometime this weekend that's why it's uh, color violet okay so it means that the rainfall for the next three days, total rainfall is more than 100 millimeters, becoming more frequent over Mindanao, Palawan, Visayas, uh, just so-so over the Bicol region and uh, western Luzon. Okay, and uh, uh, let me see this. Let's move now to uh, check out on the wind forecast from the European model. For the next uh, three days so until saturday we have now the establishment of the monsoon trough here and here's uh, a new lpa that will form probably a monsoon depression over the middle of the west philippine sea and we have here the enhancement of the southwest monsoon over kalayan island group and western coastal waters of palawan and here's the other one to the east of the country east of Mindanao, that we are going to keep an eye for a possible threat over Bicol, Visayas, and northeastern Mindanao. And on Sunday, it may uh, develop into a uh, modest LPA. And on Monday, there you go, Monday, uh, July 15, it will become an active low pressure. And there's another one here at the back. So it looks like we are uh, moving into the back-to-back uh, -back scenario since we are now uh, heading towards the middle of july so on tuesday the lpa and it could become a tropical depression if it does intensify but it's if not it will remain as an active lpa crossing some of provinces on uh, july 16 with uh, very low probability as of now so there you go just the evening to early uh, morning of wednesday it will be over the big region and uh, Catan particularly catanduanes so uh, it is likely to weaken into a wave or a trough as it traverses central Luzon. So that's the forecast from the European model. It's not a strong one. Now, if you take a look at the American model, 
there you go uh, let move, let's move towards Saturday so there you go the monsoon depression forming over the West Philippine Sea here is the uh, uh, although this is all, all only a low pressure system but uh, there's another one that will form on Monday there you go and then on Tuesday it will track towards Eastern Samar and it will uh, be absorbed into the circulation of this very large monsoon depression so it's currently to the east of Bicol on Wednesday, July 17, and it will be absorbed into the large system uh, located over the West Philippine Sea. So that's the forecast from the American model. How about the uh, uh, Australian model? It shows here that uh, the track is similar to the European model, but it's quite strong. It's likely a tropical storm moving towards uh, or across uh, summer and uh, Bicol region in the evening of uh, Tuesday, July 16. Now, take note that this forecast is very low in probability, so it may not be uh, uh, pushing through. So, let's wait and see until the European model and the American model blends with its other, okay, or blend with its other and the uh, icon model this is from the uh, german a german model let's move towards sunday monday it's just a low pressure system but uh, still a uh, tropical depression here making landfall over uh, eastern samar and exiting over masbate this is likely a tropical depression or an active lpa same with the uh, uh, European model, although the European model is much, much uh, weaker based on the uh, model output, but the uh, Australian model shows uh, it could become a tropical storm. So to uh, summarize the forecast of all these uh, models, we are going to uh, uh, create a cone of uncertainty, so most likely this will be the track of that potential LPA moving here okay because some of them the uh, American model is here while the rest is over Samar, Masbate or Southern Bicol so that's the uh, scenario of uh, the shallow LPA situated or located to the south of uh, Yap or southeast of Palau so we will keep you updated on our next uh, YouTube update come likely by Friday or Saturday. We will uh, be having more information on what will be the forecast scenario of that potential LPA that could become letter B of a Choi if you if you use the Pagas names. Okay. Now here's a quick uh, rundown on the of the forecast of the waves. So it's gonna be one meter here, less than one meter here. Here over the West Philippine Sea, there will be a dramatic change as we move into the weekend. There you go, until Sunday, because of the formation of the LPA here, the wave heights will increase up to three meters. So it's gonna be dangerous to small and medium sized sea vessels. So please take all necessary precautions, especially down there over the Kalayan Island group and the uh, Panatag Shoal so it will be uh, uh, rough if there are boats there or ships please take all the necessary precautions and here's the other one uh, the uh, next system uh, around 2.5 meters in wave heights light to moderate so there you go and before we leave you here's the latest global topics hazards outlook issued today Wednesday valid for the next two to three weeks from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. So for week two, valid July 17 to July 23, the Philippine Islands, West Philippine Sea, East Philippine Sea up to the area of the Marianas is under more than 40% of a tropical cyclone formation. That's more than 40% for ability. So it looks like... Uh, uh, this uh, uh, potential uh, scenario may push through if that LPA will continue to intensify. While the rest of the Western Pacific up to 150 degrees east longitude will be more than 20% above 
okay, more than 20% of a tropical cyclone formation. While on week 3, remember week 3 is uh, highly uncertain, less than 30%, up to Twitter, up to 0% probability. The Philippine Islands, particularly along the North Philippine Sea, West Philippine Sea, including Taiwan, up to the areas of the Marianas and Caroline Islands will be more than 20% of tropical cyclone formation probability. So uh, we are now in the uh, part of the month of July, we're in uh, during the latter part of this month, we expect uh, more tropical cyclone that we that is expected or that are expected to form, and will track towards either Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, or Northern Philippines. So we will uh, keep you updated on that. Okay, so this is more of a uh, uh, increasing uh, probability when it comes to uh, the second week of the month okay july 17 to 23 so we will keep you updated when we return on friday or saturday on where that lpa will would go or let's hope and pray it will remain as a low pressure area that will bring just uh, the right amounts of rainfall across our country since uh, the southwest monsoon is not yet uh, activated as of this time here in the uh, western pacific and the uh, philippine sea Okay, so uh, there you go. This is Mike Padua saying uh, good night to all. Have a great uh, week. And uh, we'll see you again in the next couple of days. Don't forget to subscribe at our channel. Uh, there's a link down there. Just click on the subscribe button. Or if you're watching via Facebook page, just follow our Mike, Mr. Typhoon Padua page for the latest on upcoming tropical cyclones here in the country okay so thank you so much and god bless to all